Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden keep saying we need a strong Republican Party, not one that is paying homage to a cult leader in rhetoric like that. But mainly the first part. We need a strong GOP, Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden keep saying. This bothers me on so many levels. Because as a progressive, I I'm so sick and tired of seeing the olive branch that the Democrats have being extended to people who don't deserve it. And as a progressive, you know, we get spat upon, we get shamed, uh, we get cast to the side, and I'm so sick of people like Nancy Pelosi and right-wing Democrats, by and large. I'm just sick of it. I'm going to fog my glasses up, so I'll get ahead of it while well, I can. <sighs> We don't need a strong GOP. In fact, we don't need the GOP. And by saying that we need the GOP in any capacity, in any context, really gives your hand away about who you really are and who is Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi. They are right-wing Democrats. Okay? That's who they are. Now, please tell me what the G what does the GOP do? Anybody, leave a comment down below. I don't know what the GOP does. I don't know why anybody would need the GOP for anything. What do they do? What have they done? What have they accomplished? All I can gather is that the GOP's value, or lack thereof, is saying no to human progress. That's all I know when someone says, what does the GOP do? That's what I hear. That's what I see. I see a party who is there to say no and is in, to be obstructionist, to progress. Higher wages? No. LGBTQ rights? No. Universal health care? No. Any other <laughs> any other progressive policy? No. Then what do you do besides say no to human progress? Once again, leave me a comment. I literally do not know what the GOP does that could have Democrats saying things like, we need a strong GOP. That doesn't resonate with me. That doesn't land with me. That lands with the GOP. That's an olive branch to the GOP. That's pandering to the GOP. And I'm sick of it. The Democrats have always been the enablers. They've always been the abusive spouse, the abused spouse uh, to to uh, the, the alcoholic. Like the GOP is just like the representation of the alcoholic in the persuasion. Uh, you know, the, the, the Dems will buy beer for them. The Dems will drive them around and. Uh, you'll go get money for them, but they won't. They won't participate in the drunken abuse, but they'll enable the drunken abuser 
to function on his drunken abuse. This is who they are. This is the type of relationship these two parties have. We do not need a strong GOP. We do not need a GOP. We need Democrats to show up for the working class. That's what we need. I voted for Joe Biden. Okay? I knew getting rid of Donald Trump is a big part of moving forward. But these blue dog Democrats, these right-wing Democrats, can't get out of their own way. They cannot get out of their own way, and they just cannot stop shooting themselves in the foot when it comes to progress. Because they're always banking on the GOP. They're always pandering to the GOP. They're always shunning the progressive base, the progressive wing of their party, and, and you know, screwing us over, and screwing over the working class. And these people got to go. They have to get out of leadership. They have to. Nothing's going to change. It's always going to be this toxic dynamic between two parties who abuse each other. And we're like, we're like the kids caught in the middle. Progressives are like the kids in the abusive relationship. They're just caught in the middle. They're cast aside. You know, it's, it's a horrible situation. But anyways, someone let me know what the GOP does. I still don't know after all this time. Besides say no to human progress.